welcome back to another video this really popped when i saw it that to me is a monster increase again this book got hot this book is ready to go higher so let's jump right into it we are back today with another statue review from diamond select toys without further ado let's get into the review What is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Muddy Commons and Collectibles and welcome back to another video. Today we're here for the Hot 10 Breakdown of the Week. If you guys aren't familiar with this video, what I do is I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app and I break them down one by one, letting you guys know if I'm a buyer here at these prices or if I'd be staying away or possibly even selling. If you guys aren't familiar with my channel, I want you to do me a favor, go ahead, watch this video. If you like it, hit that subscribe button for me, smash that like button, and of course, turn on the notification bell because it lets you guys know when I post new videos. With that said, let's get into the breakdown. At number 10 on this week's list is a copy of Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number 8 and the first appearance and origin of that symbiote black alien costume and a CGC 9.8 just sold last week for 870 bucks up 14 percent over that 12 month rolling average now you guys know i've talked about this book in the past one of my favorite copper age books an awesome mike zach cover i'm always a buyer of this book in high grades no matter what everybody should own a copy of this one if you guys are willing to shell out the big bucks almost a grand for a 9.8 copy of this book i would definitely pull the trigger if not owning lower grades is 100 fine i would say a 9.2 or higher may not be an investment book at that lower grade but however the higher you go the better when we're talking about this book but yes i'm 100 a buyer of this one at number nine on this list is a copy of new mutants 98 and the first appearance of the iconic character deadpool now we got that great announcement this past week that deadpool 3 is coming and not only that we're getting hugh jackman back as wolverine in deadpool 3 and a cgc 9.6 just sold last week for 650 bucks, up 1% over that 12 month rolling average. Now you hear me guys say this a million times guys, if I wanna own this book, I wanna own it in a 9.8 only. Now if you go ahead and buy a 9.6, it's going up right now in price. If you can't do the 9.8 and you gotta do a 9.6, then okay, I'll bless it. But if you can, go after that 9.8. There are a lot of copies of this book out there. Definitely wanna own a copy of a 9.8 before we get that Deadpool 3, cause they're starting to go up even higher now. At number 8 on this list is a copy of Marvel Premiere number 47 and the first appearance of Scott Lang as the new Ant-Man. But this is also the first appearance of Cassie Lang and that's why I think this book is on this list. Either way, CGC 9.6 just sold the prior week for 700 bucks, up 41% over that 12 month rolling average. When it comes to this book, guys, I always tell you it is not an investment book, right? It's a fun book that I'd love to have in my collection. I've owned multiple copies in my time period through the years. I want it in the collection, but in no way hell I'm spending a lot of money on a high grade copy of this one. If you can get one for a good price and you wanna keep it in the collection long term, I'm always a buyer. Other than that, you gotta go out and spend the least amount of money to own this book. At number seven on this list is a copy of Man Thing number one and the first solo appearance in his own title of the Man Thing and a CGC 9.0 just sold last week for 407 bucks up 24% over that 12 month rolling average. Another little bit about this book. It is also the second appearance of Howard the Duck, believe it or not. But right now this book is hot because of Man Thing, because we saw him in that trailer for Werewolf by Night. And I believe me, everyone is talking about this series right now, how great the first couple of trailers have looked. I am not a buyer of this book right now. I told you about three months ago, you should have been picking up these books, but right now they're just too hot. I have no idea what they're gonna do with this character after this Werewolf by Night series. So keep your money in your pocket. Don't go out and buy in this book unless you can get an incredible deal. At number six this week is a copy of Tales to Astonish number 63 and the first appearance and origin of the leader. Now we do know there's a rumor out there that the leader is going to show up in the She-Hulk series. It has not been confirmed that all these people that have been buying this book over the past couple of weeks, months, they're throwing a lot of money around. A CGC 5.0 just sold last week for 375 bucks up 10 percent over that 12 month rolling average 
I will say this, guys, this book has been really hot over the past couple of months. But what happens if the leader doesn't show up in the Disney Plus series? Does this book automatically go back and crash? I'm not too fond of these Tales to Astonish covers, to believe it or not, as well. I think it's way too much money to spend just on speculation for this character. And plus, we don't even know what they're going to do with that character if he does show up. So keep your money in your pocket. Again, I'm not buying this one. At number five on this list is a copy of Amazing Spider-Man number 238 and the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. We know how the story goes. One of Peter Parker's best friends turns into the Hobgoblin himself, Ned Leeds. Don't know what's going to happen in the movies or not. There's been hints towards this character and this scenario happening, but I have no idea if that's the way they're headed. Either way, CGC 9.8 just sold the prior week for 4500 bucks, up 17% over that 12-month rolling average. Now, I recently picked up a few months back a raw copy of this book with the tattoos included that is severely high grade. I'm tempted into sending my copy into CGC to see if we can get that 9.8. Regardless, guys, you know I'm a buyer of this one. I do think eventually when he does show up, and I tend to think that that's what's going to happen. I don't, don't think they're going to go back to the Green Goblin. I think it's going to be the Hobgoblin that this book is going to explode. Buy your copy now while you can. At number four on this list is a copy of Star Trek number one and the first appearance of Star Trek in comics. That's right. If you are a really big Star Trek fan, this is a must own book for you. A CGC 6.5 just sold last week for 890 bucks up 24 percent since 2021 now this book has been on the list in the past and i don't know why it's on the list right now have we got some new star trek news i have no idea i'm not a huge star trek fan and i'm not a buyer of this book either if you are a big star trek fan and i know there are a lot of you guys out there you probably want to own this book just be careful in the price you're willing to pay to add it to your collection but for me i'm just not that interested at number three on this list is a copy of Wolverine number one and the first solo Wolverine title and a CGC 9.6 just sold the prior week for 375 bucks up 17% over that 12 month rolling average. Now am I a buyer of this book? You guys know I'm not. I'm not spending $400 on a 9.6 copy of this one. There are so many freaking copies out there of this book and I feel like everybody has owned one at one point in their lives would i go after a 9.8 possibly yes they are a lot more expensive would i own a 9.8 yes but only if i couldn't get an incredible hulk number 181 i always want the first appearance over the first solo title but hey if you can't do that one this is one of the books i definitely pick up if you can't do 181 180 but for right now for the price i just can't do it at number two on this list is a copy of Tomb of Dracula number one and the first appearance of Dracula in Marvel Comics. Now, this rumor out there that Homelander himself is going to take on that role in the Werewolf by Night series. I have no idea if that's true or not. Regardless, a CGC 8.0 just sold last week for 800 bucks, up 14% over that 12 month rolling average. I love this cover. I love Neil Adams, but I just can't see spending $800 on a high-grade copy of this book. It is a Bronze Age key. It's a you know a horror character, so I don't know what, what they're going to do with the character after this series, even if he does show up. But if he doesn't show up, this book is going to come crashing down. It has gone up because of Neil Adams' passing. It has come up because of the Homelander news. Either way, I think it's too much money to spend on this book, even though I love the character, I love Neil, and I love the cover. And at the top spot, guys, what else is it going to be? It is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 181 and the first full appearance of Wolverine. We all know why this book is on this list. Hugh Jackman, the man, Wolverine himself, has decided to come back and play that character one more time in Deadpool 3. And we finally got that confirmation in a CGC 3.5 just sold last week for 3555 bucks, up 11% over that 12-month rolling average. Now, I just sold one of my Incredible Hulk number ones to a good friend of mine on the YouTube channel, and I will say this, I think he got a pretty good deal considering where I think this book is going. However, I only think this is a monetary spike right now because we got that announcement. There are a lot of copies of this book out, out there right now, and I do think that this is a long-term hold, but if you're trying to buy this book right now and then flip it again within six months, I think you're going to be in a world of hurt. So keep that in mind. Yes, you guys know I want to own a copy of this book. You have to. If you're a Wolverine fan or even a Marvel fan, you have to own this book. But be careful right now with the jump in prices. Again, I'm not buying it and selling it within that six months to a year time frame.
That's it for the list, guys. It is now time for my best buy of the week, and I had to do it. For the second week in a row, we have New Mutants 98 and the first appearance of Deadpool, but only in that 9.8. Take my word for it, guys. If you want to own this book, it's got to be a 9.8 or bust. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing these hot 10 breakdowns. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Did I miss any? Did I get any right? Would you have disagreed with any of the books that I said I would buy or not buy? I always love hearing from you guys down at the comments. Let me know. This is Lawrence over at Money Comments and Collectibles saying thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.